What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate those of you that were hanging out waiting for the live stream to start. For those of you watching the replay, though, make sure to subscribe, turn on all notifications, and go ahead and hit that thumbs up, mainly so you'll be alerted when we do these live chats and you take part in the chat with us. So I'm going to be talking about two fragrances. So I showed some of you not that long ago because I was originally going to do a haul video live stream, and one of the fragrances got damaged, and then I had these two come in, which the boxes took a hell of a beating. Um, but the fragrances are fine. I haven't sprayed them and I debated, should I do a recorded video or should we just do a live first impressions? And I decided that's what we're going to do. So that's what we're going to do. Obviously these were sent to me by Aroma Concepts. Aroma Concepts is linked at the top of the chat and we're going to be doing a split screen with the store for the note breakdown and everything here in just a little bit. Um, partner with them all the time. Obviously, them sending these to me has zero bearings on what I think about the fragrances. I have a I'm, I have high hopes for this one because Creed Viking is my favorite Creed fragrance. And then this is supposed to be Millicene Imperial. So I don't know. It's got to beat Milestone, basically, because Milestone, as far as I'm concerned, is the best Millicene Imperial cologne. Uh, so, I mean, it's going to be between those. But yeah, we're going to check these out here in just a little bit. Like I said, there's a discount code if you're interested in checking them out. But first things first, Rayon Tradition. Insurrection Pure Sport. Let me adjust the focus for you guys. That is today's scent of choice. Smelling like Aventus Cologne. Speaking of Creed, wearing a different Creed clone today from a different brand. Uh, big fan of this one. Have a spray on top of each forearm. We're going to use the hands for to spray these fragrances. But I got five around the neck, one on top of each forearm, seven sprays. It's calmed down quite a bit. I've had it on for like an hour and a half. The projection's pretty much over. It's just in a you know moderate slightly moderate to mild sillage uh wife's a big fan of this one which i'm a huge fan of creed Aventus cologne i think it's better than creed Aventus. my wife's a huge fan of that she likes it way more than creed Aventus as well and uh, i gotta say this this gets pretty close for a 22 dollar fragrance or wh whatever it is i paid for it it gets pretty close uh i don't know any other Aventus cologne clones but did a good job here it's not one to one it doesn't even come close to matching the quality, but pretty accurate overall. Spicy, gingery, citric, woodsy uh, from vetiver and everything like that. Very musky. Does the trick. I definitely like it. I highly recommend if you're looking for basically Aventus Cologne on a budget. So let's see what everybody else is wearing. We'll give it about to the 10-minute mark before we dive into these two fragrances, these Opulentia fragrances for Paris Corner. I want to give everybody an opportunity to get here that wants to be here for the live portion. Leo 4 Major, Tarif Al Emirat. Think Black Orchid with darker florals, less sweet, creamier base. Good to see you, Sean. Frank said, wound up going with Burberry Touch. I haven't worn that in a very long time. It's been a long time since he sprayed it as well. It's it, it, it's really good. I, it's been a long time since I pulled out my 30 ml and sprayed it. It's a staple in anybody's collection. It's one of those can't go wrong fragrances. You can't go wrong with it for anything, basically. Good to see you, Eric. Uncle Box in the house wearing by the fireplace. All right, a little too warm for that for me personally. Ned Flanders, got to love that as a profile. Rocking Syntalgia, Syntalogia, 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 Syntalogia. I think I'm saying it right. I had to slowly walk, walk through it. Synergy, really impressed with quality and performance. I wanted to try to say it as correctly as I thought it could be. Alan, good to see you. Notification gang, what's going on, Josh? Trouble wearing Aqua de Joe Absolute. That's a great fragrance. Sealed Secure. Scent of the day is wearing Iconic for work in the heat. That's that's a really good interpretation of Blue de Chanel. I think they did a good job with it. Patrick, good to see you wearing Eros EDT. Randy's in the house. What's good, fam? I'll be in and out during work. Wearing Sweat and Oil. Just changed my oil during lunch. Well, damn. I don't envy you, my man, but I appreciate you coming to hang out with us for a little bit. I hope you're having a good day, Randy. Good day everywhere, and nothing again since it's like an oven outside. I'm sorry to hear that, Dakota. I'm glad you hear though. Another Aqua de Joe flanker, Profondo for Allen. Lewis is wearing Otre Fresh. I want to get a bottle of that. I've got my eye on a few different bottle sizes on eBay. I haven't decided if I want to get a 4.2, a 75 ml. Do I? I don't think I need a 200 ml, but it's between a 75 ml and a 125. Like because it's gonna be a blind buy. I've never sprayed it heard great things about it and it's supposedly not not super redundant tells you of race so it's like 
I don't know if I'm going to, if it's pointless to get a bigger bottle or not. So I don't know. I'm torn. I'm torn. I'm going to get it sooner than later, though. Good to see you, fragrance apologist. Wearing Azaro Pour Ohm Intense. That's a fantastic fragrance. Shaking my head. So late. We'll re We're five minutes in. You're not late at all. We didn't even start on the topic. We're still four minutes. We're six minutes in right now. We're uh, four minutes away from starting on the topic even. You're good. Sphinx Signature. I haven't revisited that one in a while. It's not one of my favorites, though. It's one of the bottom tier for me. Still good fragrance, just not as good as some of the other offerings for my taste. Cambridge Night by English Laundry, one of my recommendations. I, that's still top three from them. I think Riviera is my favorite now because it's basically it's, it's better than YSL Loam because it performs better. Um, I have two bottles of that. And uh, I don't I don't go back to it that often, but when I get in the mood for English laundry, that's kind of the one I reach for now. Uh, you won't see one. This is this. Oh, you're asking if it's bear's hat? No, it's the Reds. No, you won't see a bear's hat on me. Yeah. When it comes to NFL, uh, there's the only hats you'll ever see on me. I do have a Rams hat, throwback Rams hat that's really cool, and a couple throwback Buccaneers hats which I know is blasphemy for being a diehard Saints fan, but um, I've had those hats for 15 years. But point being, uh, the only teams I fully support on, as far as NFL, is obviously the Saints. And my AFC, since I was a kid, has been the Ravens. I have a bunch of Baltimore Ravens gear. And then uh, I have a few Dolphins hats. I've always been a fan of the Dolphins. I've always been, a, you know, I've always loved Florida in general. So I have some older throwback dolphins hats i have some old draft hats from the early before the 2000 teens like 2011 and 12 uh era and then when they changed their logo i bought that hat as well um so i got a few dolphins hats as well but outside of that you really won't see any other nfl teams on my head uh basketball is a different story i have rockets i love the spur i, I got a bunch of spurs hats biggest portion i have is pelicans and hornets Back when they were New Orleans Hornets, ton of Pelicans hats. Um, I got a couple Warriors hats, a couple Rockets hats. So there, there's a bit more of a smorgasbord with basketball, but baseball, that's where the real variety is. And uh, college, I got a decent amount, more than just LSU and UNC. But that's not the topic, but just give you an idea. You, you won't see a Bears hat. Uh, one of my childhood best friends, he's an Alabama Bears Cubs fan. Grew up in South Louisiana. Dad raised him as a Bears and Cubs fan, and he's the person that makes me cringe when I hear Roll Tide because I've been hearing it my whole life from Keith because <laughs> he's, he's an Alabama fan. Good to see you, my man. Hope you're doing well. 9 a.m. dive. Can't wait for the cooler weather to roll in. Arizona, we can't seem to escape it. Well, I guess not. That's a super hot state. Encre Noir Sports, a great fragrance. Glorious Oud Royal Blonde. Never tried that. Elroy Prepson's in the house. Replica at the Barber's the best. I agree. That's my favorite barbershop fragrance. Excellent choice, Josh. Bentley Absolute. Still haven't tried that one. I still haven't tried it. Creed Viking Cologne. Love when the scent of the day somewhat aligns with the topic. I have tried it. I haven't spent time with it. I tried it at Neiman Marcus on a test strip, and then the Creed rep did spray, let me spray it on my hand as well. And I would like to get a bottle eventually. I do like Viking more, but Viking Cologne is actually really good. It is. It's a little bit greener. I find than than actual Viking. It's different enough to own both, just like Aventus Cologne is to Aventus. Different enough to own both. The arm intense ombre leather, intense cafe. Got told I smell amazing a ton. I bet that's quite the concoction you have there. Club de Nuit intense man. The Boz has arrived. Good to see you, Boz. Rifakat, beautiful, beautiful, spicy, smoky fragrance. I've never smelled YSL Baby Cat, but I'll tell you what, the clone is amazing. So I'm sure the original is fantastic. Versace Mano Fresh. Percival, hope you're good. I can't complain. Good to see you. So we're about to jump into this topic. So I'm going to, have to skip a few. Toomey Awaken. Hype by, so I'm supposed to be getting the rest of the Toomey fragrances. Uh, so Avant Garde reached out recently about the new release. So I may do a collection video because I haven't tried anything since Awaken and Unwind, which are kind of eh. But a ton of you have told me that I need to try... Uh, continuum so i'm pretty excited so i do have some of those coming my way at some point agreed same here recommendations in a day of oh, speaking of otre fresh there you go sicily oh you smell good greens ross ranch traditions definitely dope 
We've used almost a whole bottle today. We're in Riviera. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So tomorrow's video has Riviera in it. It's going to surprise some people when you see the topic and you heard me say that's in it. It's going to surprise you because I, I appreciate it to that point. Aqua de Dora for the bonds. Versace Pour Homme. Oak Tree Fresh is nice indeed. So we're about to skip Joel's in the house. Kept pulling what's going on. Finally got here in Detroit. So not, another one wearing 9 a.m. dive. Noel, good to see you. Another one wearing Aqua de Joe Absolute. So there's a few of you in the chat. It's funny, Milestone's my sin of the day. Well, I'm about to decide if this is better than Milestone or not. So, Fragrance World. So, we're going to go ahead and Nerd says, got to love the, the name. We're in Masoni Wave. That's in tomorrow's video as well. Jason, good to see you. Hawass, second wearing since buying it eight months ago. Can't get past the bubblegum sweetness. Probably went to, yeah, if you don't like Invictus, you won't like that. Creed Viking in the house. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's my favorite Creed fragrance. Chanel Parfum. All right, guys. I'm trying because I'm trying to not stay too far behind. So I'm trying to hurry and get through. It smells a bit like Old Spice. I agree. I agree. Just way better version. <laughs> like its ultimate form, I guess you could say. Montrese, good to see you. Let's see Kevin's in the house. Send the days eclat. I wore that yesterday. Ah, uh, we'll do we'll do questions at the end. I'm trying to, as we usually do. When we have a topic, it's questions after the topic's over. So Trying to get ahead. Dolphins are my team outside of the Steelers. Okay. I do have some Bulls hats and uh, one White Sox hat. When it comes to baseball, I have a slew of baseball hats. I got Cubs hats. I got Rockies hats, White Sox, Mets, Dodgers. I, I, everything, I, got, I even got a Yankees hat, believe it or not. Two, two Yankees hats. No Red Sox hats. I know I get asked about it all the time. but um, I'll be doing the room tour once it's finally done. Like I, got, I still got some different shelves and the neon sign. And so the room tour, which will be on the other channels, not ready yet, but it's going to cover the shoe collection and the hat collection. Cause that closet's fully set up. That closet's badass. I can't wait to, so that's going to be all that stuff's going to be in the video. The fragrance collection video I'm filming uh, will be coming out next week. That's its own video on this channel, but Dame what's going on. So, all right. I hate how Creed reps are so stingy with the fragrances. All right. I'm going to stop at this point. All right. I made it to, I'm looking at the bottom. So as Sean's comment, Adonis awakens every time we wear it, reminded how good it is. It's a hell of a haul. So we're going to go ahead and dive into this. I really want to check out this Creed of Creed Viking clone. So I've only tried one Creed Viking clone. It was those lady in red fragrances. I don't know how many of y'all remember those going around about four years ago. And it was, eh, it, it did not do it justice. Whereas I'm hoping, I'm hoping here. So here's the bottle. Let me uh, adjust the focus real quick. So here we go. Emir Range Opulentia, Opulentia Flame, as it's called. So it's a matte finish. Cap doesn't click into place, doesn't hold on too well. It's decent. A little bit of like a metal fist, probably brass with like a chrome paint on it. So... Yeah, it's a crown. It's nothing special. A little cheesy. Atomize is solid. Oh, yeah, that's definitely Viking. Let me readjust the focus back to where it needs to be. That is definitely Viking. Very, very pink pepper, mint. Well, oh, it's out in the air. It smells like Viking. Absolutely. I'm very familiar with it. Like I said, it's my favorite Creed fragrance. So I'm super excited for this. something like dry herbal green about it it's not the opening's not accurate out in the air it was smelled like viking up close on this this immediate blast a little bit more green i wasn't expecting that still smells like viking but more of a green feel to it i didn't see that coming i, I get a lot of pink pepper though an aromatic like fiery hot spiciness like the way the spices are done in viking it's very airy and fresh the touch of sweet from the pink pepper but it's got this odd fiery hot feel and a minty green tone like that's got to be what's making this this odd herbal feel it's still in super fresh so it's whatever type of mint perfume oil they used here it's more of like a, a very much a leaf it doesn't have that toothpaste feel or, or 
spearmint gum or anything like that. Like, don't think that that crazy synthetic mint that are in like, um, think Hugo iced. For those of you who tried Hugo iced or uh, even Hugo now, because that's got a, that same mint oil. It's just more of an aquatic. This reminds me of like a, a mint galbanum combination of like a, a beach hut man. Almost. That's kind of the the, the feeling it, it gives me when I'm smelling this. It kind of reminds me a little bit of that galbanum mint combination, that green feel. Like it's it's very herbal, but super fresh at the same time. Like a fresh earthy tone. It's a little bit different from Viking. Like it's clearly, it's like Viking meets Beach Hut Man. Because I can't get Beach Hut Man out of my mind here. So I would say probably like 80, the opening, like 80% Creed Viking, 20% Beach Hut Man. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that at all. I like it though. I like it. Honestly, I prefer that it's not a spot on clone and it's kind of got a little bit of a twist to it because you guys have heard me say that a bunch of times. I prefer inspired by than clone of. Remind me of the main reason you made the fragrance, but have its own little twist, its own take, its own spin on that fragrance. Now, I don't know if that's intentional here and it's just the way it, or it's just the way it came out or maybe that's just the way it's on my skin, but. I get, like I said, if I put in percentages here, it's like 80% Viking, 20% Beach Hut, man. I like it. I definitely like it. YouTube looks like it's frozen. I don't know if I'm actually frozen for you guys or not, but it was spinning. Quick skip. I had to refresh that real quick, so no, we're good. It was just freezing on my end for some reason on YouTube, but let's go ahead and... Uh, Jump over to Aroma Concepts and let's go Flame Opulentia. Where is it at? Here we go. So it is going for $37 before the 10% off code. So pink pepper, spicy mint. Yeah, a whole lot of that. A whole lot of that. That's exactly what I'm getting. Smells like some galbanum, though, the way it's coming across. But here we go. Spicy mint, bergamot, lemon, absinthe, orange. Lap so absinthe. Don't worry, Randy, if you ever wanted to try this out. I don't. I, I would have never guessed absinthe was in here. I say this because Randy can't stand a strong absinthe note. I couldn't even. I can't even detect it. I would have never guessed absinthe is in here. Orange, lavender, Bulgarian rose, clove, allspice, jasmine, orris root, vetiver, cedar, white musk, tonka bean. So... I'm not surprised to see all this woodiness, uh, all the spice though. I'm getting all of the spice, the lavender, the pink pepper, the spicy mint. Clove makes sense, but it's not distinctively clove. Hmm. This isn't bad at all. Like I, I'm, it's not what I was anticipating it to smell like, but it's a pleasant surprise what it actually smells like. This is super masculine. This is not playful young man type of stuff. This is like, there's 30 year olds that probably won't even like this, honestly, because it's got that old school, old school, super spicy, aromatic, earthy tones, very woody, aromatic without being soapy. You know, like it's distinctive lavender, but it's not super soapy. And you see orris root here with jasmine. And Bulgarian rose, but it's not real all that flowery. I don't get a heavy dose of powder. A little touch of powder, but it's not a heavy dose of florals, at least not right now. That might change as it, cha it transitions more. But And I would say if I had to pick out a citrus that kind of stands out a little bit, I would say it's the lemon, if anything, because there is a citrus smell, but distinctively that it's not, it's not like orange or anything like that. It's probably lemon bergamot kind of working here and then absinthe is going to give a little bit of a lime feel so it's just the citrus smell in general but if i had to pick one that i think is kind of standing out i think i'm getting a little more lemon than anything else but even then it's not much we'll revisit the dry down in a little bit but for the opening alone the opening's an eight out of ten 
because I'm reminded, of, like I'm shocked to not see galbanum because it smells like galbanum. Spicy mint. Yeah, for sure. Spicy mint, pink pepper, lavender, um, all the spices, and it just spice in general, but very fresh, aromatic, spicy. Uh, timeless. Timeless, but more earthy green, but fresh earthy green than I anticipated it to be. That's why I said it, it has this slight tie-in to Beach Hut Man, and that kind of sways me a little bit more. That's kind of helping the, the grade be an 8 out of 10 great instead of in the very good territory of 7 or 7.5 out of 10. So we'll revisit it as it dries. Let me get caught up on the chat real quick before we dive into Imperial. This weekend reminds me of CH Bad Boy in the dry down. I like that bottle. Yeah, I like the bottle too. Let's see. My bad. Come on, Roger Clemens. <laughs> Super hot today. Wearing pro Another one wearing Profondo. So the Aqua de Joe line is popular in this live chat today. Nice and peachy, bro. I already sprayed the EDT Intense EDP. EDP is something else. And, and look, the Eau de Toilette Intense, if you like woodsy fragrances, that's the woodsy dominant flanker in the line. It's, it's very good. They're not super redundant to each other either. You can have the EDT Intense and the EDP, and it's not like, oh, shit, they're basically the same fragrance. No, that's not the case. Let's see. Dior Homme Cologne, can't go wrong there. Oud Lemon Mint. I'm off club, then we intense man. Limited edition, best one in my opinion. Actin's Oud saved the king right now, but it's too hot. Peppermint. Been thinking of getting Epic Woman. I haven't tried the women's. I've, I don't have the men's, obviously, and that's my favorite. Um, I haven't tried the women's, though. But when it comes to Amwaj, you can't just go off of it being marketed for women. Even their women's fragrances sometimes are, are more, much more masculine than you would think. Like Overture Woman. There's nothing feminine about Overture Woman. Lineage. It's in the women's bottle. That's not a women's fragrance. <sighs> Ross, have you tried Hugo Jeans? I have not. I think it's the best Hugo release to date, and it's lime, mint, and aromatics. Hmm. No, I haven't tried it. I'd be interested to check it out, though. It sounds like a good combination. Easy going type of stuff. we got Viking and Beach Hut Man is something I'm going to need to get my nose on. That's from saying it. Look, not a hefty dose. Like it's definitely in the opening, though. I definitely get that it smells like the mint leaf and galbanum combo in the opening of Amwaj Beach Hut Man, mixed with the pink pepper, citrus, and lavender, and, and the mint trade off. The mint and spice is a trade off between the two fragrances, but picture the lavender, the citruses, uh, and the pink pepper of Viking mixing with that the specific galbanum note that's in beach hut man that goes with the mint and the spices like that's put that together and you basically have this i'm not going to say impressed I'm, I'm happy with how it turned out it's not necessarily impressive it's just enjoyable it's it's better than i was hoping comparatively to creed yeah distinctive distinctive difference um it's not it's not one of those fragrances that's uh, you know, really close in quality. I mean, for the money there, they, they can't even come close to spending the money on oils to match the quality and sell the fragrance for this cheap. It's just not a thing. Man, that's nice though. I'm digging it. Make sure I don't have anything here. Yep. Bare hands. So we're going to spray on, on this hand in a little bit. Gucci guilty was my scent of the day for good hit breezy. Which YSL would you buy if you only had to get one? The Le Parfum for sure. Gris Charnel clone, 95% close. OG, better performance. Better performer. So I haven't tried the X-Trait, but the Gris Charnel Eau de Parfum is a monster on my skin. So better performer? Really? Clone content, the new focus. Uh, no, I do a little bit of everything. It's in spurts. You'll see a few clone videos in a row, then you see some designers, then you'll see some niche. No, there is no there is no targeted focus on this channel. There never has been and there never will be. Let's see. Ismail, love Galvanum. So this one's a buy for me. Any idea? A few people's comments aren't showing up. I just heard from two people. They're typing, but it's not showing up. Is it does it show top chat? Because you got to click the drop down at the top of the chat and go to live chat. Because if you do top chat, 
it doesn't show everything. It defaults to top chat. So tell them to try that, to click the drop down and switch it to live chat. So the day Masoni wave. Rather hot here today. Or it's a possibility they said something stupid in the past and they got blocked because I don't know who the hell you're talking about. They could be blocked. That's a real possibility. There's hundreds and hundreds of people blocked in this channel. <laughs> so, or hide from channel, as it's called. So I have no idea who it is, but that's the first remedy to see is switch it from top chat to live chat. Because top chat shows like 60%, 70% of the comments. It doesn't show all the comments. Not even close. Free vetiver, original vetiver, I'm assuming. On a cloudy day. Okay, out of curiosity. If I layer two blue fragrances, would it perform better? It's not about a layering thing. It's how it acts on your skin is how it acts on your skin. You know, mixing them doesn't dictate performance. Your skin chemistry dictates performance, my man. Like Solar Storm website is still trying to get everything straightened out. Yeah, YouTube's been acting up today, too, by the way. That's a possibility, too. YouTube Studios had all kinds of freaking errors. Back in the UK. Maybe in Chicago a lot. Do you know of any places in the city where you can try? Uh, it's usually for very specific reasons that I go to Chicago. I don't just go hang out in the city. They were here yesterday. I'll let them know. So, yeah, it's it's a, it could be a couple of things. It's then The first thing I would try is click the, the little drop-down box at the top of the chat where it says top chat, and it'll have an option to switch to live chat. Or it might say top comments and then all comments. You get you can switch between the two. It's going to say one of those two. It might say something different for not the channel owner. Um, but that's a possibility that it could be because YouTube's been acting up today. I don't know what the hell's going on with that. I've been seeing data errors and every every time I go to YouTube Studio, there's data errors and all kinds of crazy shit showing up. Subscriber mode messages that appear from people who have subscribed 14 days or longer. That's the message I get on my screen. Maybe those messages are not showing our new. No, so if they if they were subscribed for less than 14 days, they wouldn't be able to type at all. They wouldn't even be able to type. It like the the option to type a comment doesn't even come up if you're not if you don't meet the parameters. Um, but like Randy said, they uh they were here yesterday. Whomever it, whomever it is. Okay, cool. Thanks. Unscented cream helps a lot. For, see something like that will help. Yeah, for sure. But lay, just layering two together like that, I mean, that's not necessarily going to enhance performance unless one of the two really performs well in your skin. That's kind of how you got to look at it. But that's good stuff. So let's go ahead and dive into the next one. I had to close the chat and reopen it. YouTube's been buggy. Yeah, this was, it has been today. It's something about today. I don't know what the hell's going on with them. But let's check out the Millicene Imperial clone. I don't know what to expect here. Um, I have high hopes, though, because... Flame's actually pretty damn good. Okay, here we go. Fingerprint magnet, mirrored gold finish. Uh, I mean, clear as day, they were going for Millicene Imperial, right? <laughs> so, same thing, you know, just probably brass, but painted brass. Let's give it a spray on this wrist. They do have good sprayers. Mm. Uh oh. Just to be certain, okay? I don't want to sit here and say it is or is not without the proper comparison. So, we're going to grab it because that smells really, really good. Really, really good. We're going to go up here with Milestone. So we're going to compare it to Milestone live because that smelled incredible. And I don't want to sit here and say it's better or worse without really being able to tell. So this has had a moment to dry. Fresh and airy, has that melon smell. Very much that melon smell, watery, citric, fruity, without being too sweet. Has that clean feel that Millicene Imperial is known for. Now, when we compare it to Milestone, 
Milestone's coming across very woody comparatively. Like I immediately get woods. I don't get near the melon. Like this, this is the melon note. This one, not so much. And this is really good too. Like, I guess I think that's like, I'm glad I'm comparing them because I would have been like, Oh, I don't know if this is better. This might be better. This might, but I will say that milestone smells cheaper. It does smell more chemically synthetic than Imperial. Out in the air, probably can't tell the difference. Up close, though, it's just like with Siage. Like, Siage is great in the air, but Siage up close smells super cheap. <laughs> I love Siage, though. Out in the air, Siage is amazing. They're very similar. Milestone does smell a little bit cheaper. And I get much more of a melon note out of Opulentia Imperial. This smells better for the money in the opening. Dry down, they might be the same damn fragrance. I don't know. I'm getting much more of a woody feel from Milestone, though. So let's go ahead and switch back over. Make sure I spell it correctly. Okay. Same price, $37. Sea salt, fruity notes, Sicilian lemon, bergamot, iris, mandarin orange, sea notes, musk, woody notes. So the sea notes make sense on why it's so watery. That makes sense now. I had no idea that was in there. Fruity notes, a melon note is clearly in there because it's a distinctive melon smell to it. Musk, yes. Iris, not distinctively, but there's a little bit of a powdery floral feel to it. But not like a super dose of iris. It's not like some natural iris where it has a slight earthy tone and it's not super waxy makeup smell like a Diorome or a Pratolome or something or where it's real soapy. A little bit of soapiness. They are kind of what and what. I do give the nod because of the quality to Opulentia Imperial, though. They're both blind buys, so it just comes down to taking the leap of faith. Now, as far as which is going to perform better, I don't know, because Milestone does perform really well. So that's the one thing I'm not going to be able to weigh in on in this live stream. I have no idea how this is going to perform long with the longevity, because, well, I mean, we're not going to be long. We're not going to be live for eight, ten, ten hours to see. This does smell distinctively higher quality, but not as dense. So it's possible that it doesn't last as long. But I can't go off of the density in this first five minutes at the same time. It's, it's hard to really judge. I can't judge it off of that. Just kind of walking you through where I'm at with it. Definitely more woods in milestone if you like the woodier take milestone is going to be the one for you if you want the more melon heavy clean musky and watery version i would say imperial the opulentia fragrance is going to be the better take honestly you can't go wrong with either this is really good i, I was thinking that this wouldn't be able to top it and it's not necessarily topping it it's at minimum as good. It's technically slightly better because the quality is better. It smells a better quality. So, hmm. Out in the air, I, I doubt it's going to be. It would be easy to pick them apart. Out in the air, it's it's probably you. You couldn't tell me. I couldn't tell you which is which out in the air probably. So it's a leap of faith type type of thing. You just got to go with whatever sounds best to you and go with your gut. Because I know everybody's going to ask me, is it better than Milestone? So we might as well compare it live, right? I get more musk out of this. I get more woods out of this. They both have that soapy, slightly powdery, flowery feel. They both have a little bit of melon. This one has more melon. More melon, more water, more musk, more woods. It's basically what it comes down to, guys. So you got to decide if you're, if you're thinking between the two. You have to decide 
which is going to be better for you. Now, with that said, I think this is an eight out of 10 as well. I wasn't expecting that. I, honestly, I was kind of hoping this was not up to snuff and it would get something like a six and be like, eh, it's, it's good, but it's not as good. That's just not the case. I was hoping because I know people are always looking for me to shit on something. It's weird. And it does happen on occasion, but it's so rare. And especially when it's these just blind crap shoot random packages where I'm like, all right, fingers crossed. I get something I'm not going to like because I know people really want me to not like something. Fortunately, for those of you that feel that way, these are actually solid. These are really, really good, actually. Whew, this is getting better. This is staying spicy, but very breezy. Super breezy and spicy. This is getting better as it dries. Damn, flame is good. Flame, Flame's the hype I was hoping for. I was really excited about this one. Very, very much excited about this one. It's really good. I mean, honestly, I can't tell you which I like more. It's what kind of mood are you in, basically? Do you want a more woodsy fragrance? Do you want a more watery, fruity fragrance? They're both musky. This one's slightly more musky. This one's more woodsy. I don't think one's better than the other. I think you're good either way, honestly. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. Oh, wow, the comments were just going. Let me get, let me find where I was. Here we go. Prada Loam for Fragrance Fraternity. Good to see you, my man. Had to close chat and reopen. Okay, here we go, yeah. Yeah, it turns out it's YouTube. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, my, my bad. I was given all the possible options. Like, well, it could be blocked. I don't know. I got like in the realm of 400, 400 accounts blocked because you can, somebody comes in my on my channel talking stupid shit, they gone. <clears throat> Let's see. Absolute. Will it be redundant to buy Resurrection Pure Le Parfum? Yes, very. They're very similar. They're very similar. If, I don't know if you saw my first impressions or the shorts video that I did on Insurrection Pure Le Parfum. It is pretty much the same fragrance. It's got the lemon and everything. Like it's really, really close. It lasts a long time. They're almost the same fragrance. It's super redundant. If you have Club de Nuit Intense Man Limited Edition Parfum, totally redundant purchase to get Insurrection Pure 2 Le Parfum and vice versa. You don't need both. I feel like I have two bottles of pretty much the same fragrance. Times are live. Appreciate you, man. I appreciate you guys. Hey, dude, been trying to check out that Camaro Omen Tints. I wasn't too all impressed at first, but holy crap, it's amazing. I love its texture. Yes, that's what does it for me because it's so waxy. That's what gives it the vintage feel, like the old formula, because that was super waxy on the old formulas. Any iris in it, which I, I did answer that because I'm a little behind on here. How much for the Emir? 37 and then the 10% off code, TLTG10, saves you 10%. It's at $3.70. It's not a huge discount, but it is something. I always get the synthetics from Milestone in the opening. If you, yeah, it's it's much more synthetic in the opening. As it dries, they're probably you probably really can't tell a difference aside from the clear dominance in the woody notes here versus Opulentia Imperial. But they're both really good. Like if you have one, you don't need the other. Like, if you have this, don't feel like you need to get this. It's not like there's some huge difference. There's a quality difference, but, I mean, again, it's not leaps and bounds. This, this isn't the quality of Creed. You know, neither of these are the quality of Creed, but they're actually really good clones. They really are. I've seen they reviewed. He said, close in the air. They have short lifespans. Well, I typically, I want to say eight ish hours every time i've worn this i mean if i get somewhere even close with this i'm a six to eight hour guy that's my sweet spot if i can get that i'm super happy if it's less it's less it is what it is i just reapply but we'll see we'll see how it goes i'll let you guys know um i'll put them in the rotation over the next two weeks so you guys will get a follow-up in the week rotation videos maybe not this week because i already have this week planned as you can see i, I want to stick to it Boss Bottle Pacific, Oceanic Symphony, Eau Sauvage Cologne. I haven't worn that in years. And then Fusion Dissy, the Eau de Toilette, not the Extreme. I haven't. I, w I really want to wear those the rest of the week. So, so maybe next week I'll throw these in the rotation. 
bubble bath. All right. Baccio and Martel. Man, you smell good. It's free leather. If you had to make a guess, how much do you think 100 ml of Creed Event is cost to make, bottle and all? On the scale that they purchase for the sheer volume, because they're at a massive scale for being a luxury brand, they're at a massive scale. I would think a safe number. Anywhere from thirty to fifty dollars. See Jeremy telling everybody, and, and immediately y'all like, but Jeremy said it was like three dollars for his bottle. Yeah, his stuff, sure. Full of synthetics, generic bottle, a nothing cap, a nothing box. Yeah, that's stock glass and everything. Whereas Creed has molds for the caps, for the bo their boxes are distinctive. Their bottles, they have molds, um, so it's all fresh pouring glass for them. Um, as well as the fragrance oils. The, I mean, people can say they're watered down all they want. They still use high quality oils. So uh, per kilo, their price of oil is higher than somebody that uses a lot of Embroxins and um, Isui Supers and stuff like that. Like I use Jeremy as, a, as an example. I mean, Jeremy's fragrance is good. It's just I know he's publicly said over and over, like, hey, I charge this crazy amount for these fragrances, but it only cost me like a handful of dollars <laughs> to make. My margins are huge is basically what he said. Um, but when it comes to specific, when you're not buying stock items and you have your own molds, your price is much more expensive. And then when you, like I said, when you're, when you're purchasing these higher quality raw materials, price per kilo goes up greatly for these old fragrance oils. Then you're paying the labs, you're paying boxing, manufacturing, all this stuff. So I would say a safe range is probably 30 to $50. I could, I mean, I don't know. It's an assumption. But I would say thirty to fifty dollars, probably closer to the higher end of that, per bottle. I would think, just based off of what I know about the way the manufacturing works. Yeah, probably, probably in the realm of forty to fifty bucks a bottle. <clears throat> Burberry contacted me, said we'd love to send you that. Me too. They sent me that too. Like, what are you trying to say? Do you not watch my content? That's exactly what they. Yeah, got us. Yeah. I got that email too. And I was like, I'd love to check out some of your masculine releases. I said, 4% of my audience is, is female. Um, I've tried making women's fragrance content. It doesn't, it's not that fruitful for the channel. <laughs> so yeah, they reached out to me too. Nice presentations. I haven't tried it yet. I like how you put taco, <laughs> but I haven't tried it yet. Pure Parfum from Armoff will be redundant. Yes, but it's it's slightly different from the other two because it's more of an earthy smell. It's like a dirty lemon, as weird as that sounds. Because it's still a candied lemon smell, but it's more of a, like a wet patchouli, moist patchouli smell. It's very earthy and moist. It's different. It's not completely different, but it is different from the limited edition Parfum and then the Insurrection Le Parfum. Not completely different. There's still Aventus DNAs, but says dude in your name there you go always wanted to try oh savage cologne i love the original and you get a bottle of the original i'm 23 but i love it so much i would wear it with confidence and look the the cologne super fresh and green like think Givenchy gentleman cologne the white label similar white label i don't know if you ever tried that without the iris pedigrain citruses like it's even fresher and greener without the spice like it doesn't have the spicy green feel of the eau de toilette version uh, the regular silver silver label. It doesn't have as much of a spicy green feel. It's more of just a fresh green feel. Clean, musky. Very, very fresh. Like you would think a cologne flanker would smell. It's really good. It's really I haven't worn it in a long time. Starting a new job soon. My paychecks are going to be enough to get some niche stuff. Should I start with the House of Amouage or Nishane? Nishane is going to be a safer play. I would say sample Amouage first. Because there's, it might not be a house for you. I have friends in the community that have a wide array of niche fragrances, and Amouage just isn't for them. They just don't like the scent profiles. Randy's one of them, actually. Randy doesn't care for Amouage. Um, yeah, I, I would sample Amouage. You should sample Niche Hine first, too, but, I mean, the popular ones are pretty safe. Your Wulong Chas, Hachivat, Ani, you know, Fan Your Flames. They're pretty safe plays. They're very interesting fragrances, but they're not, like, super risky. 
Yeah, same. I'm with you on that, Joel. I got a haul today. Six fragrances, but two whole frags. Arabian Night and Alexandria's Forbidden Plum. But I have six on the right now. Testing them all. Well, it sounds like you're having a good old time. Pound for pound. Renewed for three more months. Salute to the smell goods. Hope all is well. New digs look great. Finally made another stream. We got to head into work soon. Wearing chaos in the ocean. That's It's right behind that bottle. It's right behind Trillium. Um, it's pretty damn good, isn't it? I appreciate you. Welcome back. Uh, make sure to vote in the polls for which fragrances to give away for the member live stream this month. Those polls have been up for two days, two or three days, three days. Yeah, three days. Make sure to vote. I don't know which tier you jump back on, but I mean, if you're in the $25 and above tier, you can vote on both polls, but uh, make sure to vote, 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 vote. So I know what, what you guys really want, want to, you know, spend for this month. Let's see. I have Javante gentleman cologne. My favorite is very picky with my sprays because I'm halfway through my bottle. So if you like that one, you'll definitely like this. It's basically take the floral component away enhance the musk and you have that it's pretty much it it's very they're similar but not the same fragrance but they same vibe same situation same apparel same like everywhere you would want to wear every situation you would want to spray gentleman cologne you would want to spray osavage cologne they do the exact same job like one's the answer to the other or like com competition to the other they're in the exact same category not redundant in smell completely, but if you really do like that and you run low on your bottle, maybe give this a try. It's not easy to find, though. I, I haven't seen it in a long time from discounters. I think it's it might be discontinued. I've, got, I've had it for years. <clears throat> so we got another 13 minutes till we hit the one-hour mark. I mean, we got, we got the job done here. These are both great ratings, 8 out of 10, very surprised. Now, obviously, these first impressions ratings do not account for performance at all because the live stream's an hour you know i'm getting at least an hour out of these fragrances this is the clear winner though now that tie-in that i would say for those of you that have been here from the start uh that i said like 20 percent beach hut man that's gone that was just in the opening where i had that galvanum feel to it that's gone it's pretty much just viking now it's beautiful too aromatic spicy woody Ooh, and this continues to get better. It's getting a little bit more aquatic, saltwater aquatic. That melon feel still there, but it's not at the forefront anymore. I'm getting more of the iris now. It's got more of a soapy, flowery feel. It's not super powder. It's more soapy at this point as it's drying. I think the C notes are kind of intensifying that soapiness. This is continuing to get better. Oh, this is getting much better. Wow, this is better as it dries than in the opening. Whereas this was just as good in the opening. This is getting better as it, dry, as it settles. You know any funky fragrances that are on sale a lot? By the way, 75 day. Funky fragrances? Hmm. I would think something Mancera. But I mean, even that's not natural oud. If you're looking for like natural funky oud, it's not really going to be the price point. The iris is what makes me love it. I'm sure Eau Sauvage has its own. Yeah. It's, I get what you're saying, because I have both. I totally get what you're saying. If I had to pick one, Eau Sauvage Cologne is a little bit better, because it goes in the, it goes better in the category with a Diorum Cologne, with a Terre de Hermes Eau Givre, with fragrances like that, with Brioni Eau de Parfum Eclat, where it's citrus and musk are at the forefront, with the, like woods and greens and stuff sprinkled as supporting notes and nuances in the middle. So it falls into the category more with those, though it is most similar to Gentleman Cologne. It's just they do have their differences. I, like, I think it was a strategic marketing move for the white labels and everything. Like They literally were like to be competition to one another. Um, so they are very similar, but like I said, they have their differences. So it's one of, those, one of those fragrances where if you can get this, like I've had it for years and I've barely put a dent in the bottle. Only worn it maybe a handful or so of times. This is gorgeous in the heat, though. Oh, such a beautiful lemon, believable lemon. Oh, so good. If you can find this, it is better than the silver label. Yeah. 
I haven't worn my Eau Sauvage fragrances in a while. That's what's like, man, I need to get these in the rotation. Gerald, good to see you. Happy Tuesday to you as well, my friend. I've never tried it. I've had a bunch of people ask me about it over the last couple of years, and I, I never got around to trying it. It's easy to get. I'm so ready. In fact, I don't know if you'll be sitting around watching football, but Sunday, starting at 1145 Central, we're going to do the noon games. TLTG Vlogs channel. Uh, you have to be subscribed for at least three days to be part of the live chat, but we're going to do a live chat, um, live updates, talking about scores, talking about our teams. I'm in a, I have my dynasty league and, uh, in my PPR redraft league. I used to be in a lot more leagues, but it's like, eh, I didn't like at one point I was in six leagues years ago and it's, eh. it's not that it's too much. It's just unnecessary. So I have my two main leagues that I've been in for almost two decades. Um, and then on top of that, like we're going to have live reaction scores, updates, just talking football for the noon games. If you're interested, uh, head over to the TLTG Vlogs channel. Had a bunch of people ask me to do it. We did a poll yesterday. Trolls voted no. Actual supporters of the channel voted yes. <laughs> so, do Frank, I have it. It's very nice, synthetic, woody, spicy, dry, dry, but it has a nice airiness to it. That's fair. I, I am. I am. Christian had reached out weeks ago, let me know he was going to be sending them my way at some point. Uh, that's why I'm trying to stay blind. I don't want to look at note breakdowns. I don't want to know nothing. I want to stay blind. I want to experience them as fresh and, and with blind, as blindly as I can. That way I, I can truly discover it for the first time, like a real first impression experience. Like I try to do that as much like I did this with, with these. I didn't want to know anything about notes. I try to be as blind as I can for these first impressions because it's a fun way to challenge myself to see what I can pick up, what's distinguishable to me. So I will be getting them at some point. I don't know when. I don't know when. Spencer, good to see you. Layer in the Club Dean Wee Flankers, which is better, Terry Mez Eau de Toilette or Pasha de Cartier Parfum. So yes and no, they do the same job, but Terry Mez is much fresher. Pasha de Cartier Parfum is boozy, woodsy, herbal green. I mean, that's better. But they don't do the exact same job. Like, I wouldn't wear Pasha de Cartier Parfum in as many situations as Terre d'Hermes works. So if you're looking for more versatility, Terre d'Hermes Eau de Toilette. If you want something for the cooler weather or more professional settings that really has that it factor, Pasha de Cartier Parfum. That's what it comes down to for me. Mercedes been silver. I've never smelled that. It's been requested many times. My favorite sexy friend. One of these days I'll sample it. Dior if I can find it. Spice bomb. I like Alexandria. I, I've been collaborating with Hanny for years on and off on different fragrances. I got a lot of them, a lot of fragrances. I did get rid of some that I don't wear. That was part of some of the cut down. Uh, but I still kept like 20. I have like 20 fragrances. That I kept is like, I can't part with these, <laughs> you know, uh, the Et Sauvage Elixir, all the Hefe's fragrances, the Intense, the original. I got two different. I have a pure oil version of Hefe's 1984. I have a newer version of Hefe's 1984, Hefe's Cigar, Hefe's Gold. That's a pure oil version. Um, yeah, I got some good shit. Uh, I have Ferocity, which I think is just a great take on Fierce. It's like a carbon cop, beast mode carbon copy. Um, and so on at Zion and the list goes on and on. I got, a, I got about 20 of them. I got rid of about 10 and kept 20 of them. I had, so I had around 30 ish fragrances from them, but the ones I just never wear, I, I cut back on the collection. I donated those. The blending DNA is just mass appealing to my nose. The base plus seaweed really stand out to me different, but that's what makes me like it a lot. My wife, adores it i'm assuming is what you meant a little typo i was already warned not to hug her with it on damn citrus ideas any recommendations on feminine rolly fragrances anything so yeah now's the time i know you asked the question earlier kevin which feel free to retype that one too i don't know if i don't think this is the same question um but anything to rolly portofino that's my wife's favorite right now it's funny that you asked that so what she's been wearing the most is citrus neroli from dossier perfumes that's their clone. It's a really, really good clone. Um, my favorite is Neroli Canvas. It's in today's video uh, from Al Hermine. It's like 77 bucks, but it's a monster performer. Monster performer. It's the best performing one I've ever smelled. Um, definitely those. 
as far as the feminine. Now there's ones that lean a little more masculine, like Wood Neroli and the Bulgari Man line. It's more woodsy and green, a little bit of green spice. It's not still not super masculine, but comparatively, it's a bit more masculine. So I would say anything that falls in line with Neroli Portofino, that is a feminine leaning fragrance. It's orange blossom and Neroli dominant. Bunch of white florals, you know. Uh, so so anything like that, basically. Fifty percent, maybe. Three sixty red doesn't have the earthiness. It doesn't have the incense. I mean, they both have Aqua de Jo's DNA at its core. That's why I say about fifty percent, maybe. Picked up St. Kitts, Seascape. I still need to get Seascape. Maritime, Maritime Journey, all bangers. So the whole Maritime line's good. The whole line's good. Love all of them. Love them. I have all five. I actually did a line review on them. Love them. Here are new car films and all out there. So it's actually already out. And, uh, yeah, we've talked about it on the channel. I, I'm going to get my nose on it at some point. We did a live stream talking about it. You film a fragrance video while wow. Adalia slammed Florida. So uh, I did. Because it didn't slam here. It didn't slam here. What's up, Ross? Torino 21. Good to see you, Eric. Two from Nishane that are catching my eye right now. Papi Lefico. And so, Unitamam. I, I think that's how you say it, Unitamam. I've never tried that one. And Justin talks super highly of Papi Lefico over the last couple of months. So, I haven't tried either, but I can tell you Justin Copeland's a big fan of Papi Lefico. That much I do know. Fresh Laundry. Um, the main one that comes to mind that I think is the best clean laundered blanket smell is Musk Invisible from Juliet Has a Gun. It's got this cotton flower, powdery feel. It's marketed for women. Perfectly unisex. It smells like a freshly laundered throw blanket. Picture a blanket you would have on the couch for when it gets cooled, maybe cover your feet and stuff like that, like that kind of blanket fresh out of the dryer with some dryer sheets. That. It's a blue bottle. Musk Invisible from Juliet Has a Gun. You can get it under 100 bucks from discounters. You'd probably 50, 60, 70 bucks range for 100 ml. It's not a super strong fragrance. It's more subtle and intimate. About six hours of longevity. It's an intimate fragrance. But it's very cozy. It smells exactly what you're looking for. It's very, very cozy. Super, super cozy, actually. Emperor in Intimation. Never tried that. Anybody with a wife, girlfriend, do you have a group of fragrances you wear with her and another group not to wear with her? I have a few that I wear when I'm not around her. And it's rare anyway. Overture Man and Enclave, for example. <clears throat> I talk about those all the time. A bore hate. Oh, so it wasn't a typo. I just misunderstood. My pleasure, Kevin. My pleasure. Thank you for being here. We got a few more minutes and we'll shut it down, guys. Thinking about picking up a tester of Anisio Paragon. Zero thoughts. Never tried it. Zero thoughts, my man. Question Do you have Kenzo EDP? And I do. I do. I have reviews on both, actually. Very amazing scent with them layered on accident. Well, the only downside to that for me is I just pick a fragrance and spray it. I don't like to layer. Like all that layering talk makes me cringe a little bit because it's like just pick a fragrance. <laughs> Enjoy your layering. I know a lot of you guys love to do that. It's just not my thing. Like this is about as layered as I get where I'm te I'm wearing something and I'm testing something else. That's technically layering. So technically, I guess I layer every day, <laughs> but I don't intentionally like try to blend certain fragrances and stuff like if i'm testing something i'm testing something it just is what it is i'm always always working every waking minute i'm doing something with fragrance so. Ooh, uh iris of course anything aquatic makes me want to try it if it has carambola starfruit because it's so rarely used that plum that Gaiac wood, one of my favorite notes. It's a smoky, tarric, woody note. That incense, that. <laughs> so that's the kind of notes that make me be like, ooh, I need to try that. Yeah. Wear a vest every day, and yesterday I wore Kenzo. Today I wore my hair, and I smelled completely different and amazing. Hadn't washed the vest prior. Ross Club EDP, okay. Excited for the new review vid. I tried to convince a few people. 
the shaving community that if they have not tried leather tobacco or signature tobacco to try it. Indeed. Indeed. Never tried it. Just a, a couple of clones, I, but I've never tried the original. Dylan Blue Pour Femme. Never smelled that one. Armani My Way. Haven't, we haven't smelled that one either. Now, YSL Libra Eau de Parfum. That's my wife's favorite fragrance. She's got like a third of her bottle left. That's my wife's favorite. What do you think would suit her taste? She loves rose and florals. Yes. Yes. If she likes rose, see my wife, fruity florals. That's her go-to, which is what Sublime is. So if your wife likes fruity florals, that's like a poster child fragrance for that scent profile. Yeah. I love it. She loves it. You'll probably love it. Your wife's probably going to love it. And it's like 26 bucks now or something like that at Fragrance Buy. It's it's way, it's like $10 cheaper than when I bought it. Yeah, it's getting cheaper. <clears throat> there you go. Gerald was able to weigh in. Flamboyant with the super chat. I appreciate you. Discovered your channel only a few weeks ago, but you've become my number one fragrance YouTuber. No hype, no snobbing. Thank you for being a real one, Ross. Appreciate you, my man. Yep. Uh, I get criticized for being myself, but I also get respect for being myself as you're doing right now. So I appreciate it, my man. What you see is what you get. Whether we had, whether this was a five subscriber channel or a 500,000 subscriber channel, I'm, I'm me. I'm me. And I appreciate you enjoying the content. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your contribution with the super chat. Um, I constantly reinvest into the channel. I'm always, yeah, I get stuff sent to me, you know, but I'm always buying fragrances. <laughs> this is going to be a video in the next day or two. This is some stuff I bought from Fragrance Buy. This has the ambassador fragrances we've been talking about, by the way, fellas. So I, I buy stuff all the time. So, yeah. So your contribution will be going into a fragrance package more than likely. So I, I greatly appreciate you. Thank you very much. And thank you for the the high praise with saying I'm your favorite. It's, uh, it's very humbling when people tell me that because it's just I'm just putting my thoughts on camera, basically talking about my main hobby. Because this is my main hobby. Has been for a long time. It was a secretive hobby for a long time before there was really an online fragrance community. Because uh, I've been into fragrances since I was a kid. You know. So I appreciate you being here. Thank you very much for the kind words. <clears throat> Puffy Pig. The rack store bandit himself. There you go. What's going on, big dog? I'm into smoky birchy perfumes. Me too. Me too. Which ones stand out to you? If you make a video, that would be great. I don't think I've ever done that topic. I might have to do that uh, because it comes down to birch and incense is basically in Gaik wood. Like I was saying a minute ago, Gaik wood makes for a nice tarric smoky dry down. Like it has that fresh poured tar feel when it's a good Gaik oil, like a niche perfume using a dominant Gaik wood. It's almost like a little bit of a tar smell. Smoky tar. It's, it's amazing. Uh, certain time, certain fragrances, it comes across amazing. So I'd be open to doing that topic. Uh, some that come to mind, obviously the Club de Nuit Intense Man Flankers. Um, as far as more expensive fragrances that are very smoky, um, one that may surprise you is Memories from the Gate Fragrances. It's a cherry tobacco that's super smoky, like super. Even though it's got cherry, it is very masculine. Super, super smoky. Like you're actually smoking a pipe of cherry tobacco. It's incredible. Um, what's the name of it from Happy Land? Red Label. Inlandish. Crazy smoky. Amouage Overture Man. Crazy smoky. Masculine. Boozy. In your face. Aggressive. Assertive. Classy. Daring. Um, Zaharoff Signature Leather Tobacco. I would describe it the same way I just described Overture Man. Daring, tarric, smoky, earthy, rich leather, though. A lot of rich leather here. Robust, a little animalistic, super spicy, but a hefty, literal birch tar note. It's called birch tar. That's it. Super rich and smoky in the top. That's another one. See how excited I get to talk about these smoky fragrances? I'm with you, big dog. I like the smoky fragrances, too. So minute five, we'll, we'll get to the minute 10, maybe minute 15. I don't know. I don't know how far from the bottom I am. Appreciate you, Joel. Joel's a real one for sure. Just received F Le Parfum. Shit's fantastic. Amen. A 
men. It was in, it, it became a lifer for me. It was in my keep 10 clones for life video today. Like, like I said in the video, some of those I know surprised you guys because some of them are new and it was like for a designer clone, a clone of a designer fragrance to be that good. I, and, and I say that good because I feel that way because I love Y Le Parfum to be that accurate for 29 bucks. It was like, you know, because clones of designer fragrances deserve extra criticism, extra harshness when when critiquing and reviewing them. Reason being. It's like, man, you're cloning a fragrance I can get for like double, sometimes triple the price. And triple the price isn't a wide margin when it's a $29 fragrance. It's still under 100 bucks. Like my 60 ml was like 80 bucks for Wild Parfum. Yeah, it's like 50 bucks more, but you get the real deal for 50 bucks more. You see what I'm saying? Just save save a little bit more. Point being, like uh, for Car Gold from Latafa, I was a little bit harsher on that one because I paid $77 for 1 million Parfum versus the... $39, I think it was, that I paid for that. It's like thirty, less than $30 more to get the original. Get the original. It's good. It's good, but it's not good enough. Whereas F Le Parfum, yeah, they did great. I was very much impressed to the point of when I revamped Keep Only 10 Clones for Life, it made the damn video. So I'm right there with you. I know that was a little bit of a tangent, but yeah, I totally agree. I stand firmly behind that phrase. I really like it. Best on wash. Uh, best anything's very subjective. That's why typically when best is involved, I try to eat. I, if it's about one, I put a question mark. Like, is it? Let's discuss. And I give my opinion or a topic because then it's a, a variety. It's a wide array of examples of some of the best. Whereas here, I, I would have to give you a few. So my personal favorites, Reflection Man and Epic Man. That's a personal choice. Whereas I do believe Enclave's phenomenal. Overture Man we just talked about. Very aggressive and assertive, but it's it's a masterpiece. And then you have fragrances like Journey, which don't get enough love. It's a very dry juniper tobacco fragrance. Very smoke. That's also smoky. But it's a dry tobacco that's got a hefty gin hit at the top. It's beautiful. And then Boundless is a beautiful sweet tobacco. Like They have a lot of good fragrances. It's hard for me to pick one best. I guess I can just say my absolute favorite is Epic Man. So that's, to me, the best. You may not feel that way. And the reason I like that one so much is basically that fragrance, the DNA of Epic Man is in almost all of their fragrances. It is like the definition of their thumbprint, their signature style is that fragrance. That is like the poster child for Amouage, I think. Because the Orientals, the Spices, the Oud, the resins, all of that is in all of their fragrances. And that's what Epic Man is. Hope that makes sense. I know that was long-winded, but that's my thoughts. Oh, Lord, can't get enough of either. Which is your favorite out of the two? I would have to say Lamal Elixir by a slight margin. Lamal Elixir is one of the three best designer releases of the year, in my opinion. Boston Scent Magnetic. And uh, why am I drawing a blank right now? Oh, Spice Bomb Infrared Eau de Parfum with Lamal Elixir. That's my three top three designer releases this year. <clears throat> I've never tried it. I can't weigh in. Yeah, I do in Red Tobacco Intense. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to get it whenever it comes around, though. Decent clone. Okay, 10-4. I appreciate you weighing in. Makes any fragrance pop off. Should I do half sprays when I get something from Nishane? I would not necessarily even half sprays, maybe do two or three. If typically you get really good performance, which I have pretty oily skin. I typically, if you have oily skin, you're probably going to get good performance, even if it's just in certain areas, like top of my hands are dry, but I'm pretty oily around the neck and it like, you can see that natural gloss that I have going on here. That's oil. That's natural oils. Um, I would say just do a, a mild spray routine at first, two to three sprays, and see how it performs on you, especially if you get something like a Hachibot. I don't do more than three sprays because it's a monster. It's a monster on my skin. Whereas something like Ani, I'll do four or five, even though it's really strong, just because it just the wearing experience suits what I'm looking for with that. So I would say start with two to three sprays, not necessarily just doing half sprays. Do full sprays in targeted areas and just kind of go from there. And you can always adjust. Like some people get a fragrance and just spray it 15, 20 times right away. That's crazy. That's crazy to me. Even if you don't 
like you know you get good performance, just anybody grabbing something and just first time they wear it, they just spray the hell out of it. Talk about overload, <laughs> overkill too. We'll clean musky scent profile if you like that scent profile. Kevin with ten dollars super chat. Everything you say, your wife likes, my girl likes. Appreciate the help. Well, I appreciate the super chat first and foremost. Thank you very much. And secondly, yeah, if if your girl has similar taste to my wife, then yeah, I got I got a collection I could show you of stuff that you, and the stuff she leans to. Roses musk from Montal. She really likes that. Uh, Coach the hell's it called oh floral blush coach floral blush loves that coach signature eau de toilette loves that YSL Libra eau de parfum obviously her favorite Argos pour femme Argos palace Athene Zaharoff signature rosé this is all what she wears the most and then anything Neroli Portofino which right now it's dossier citrus Neroli that's kind of been her go-to lately so that's all her favorites that she wears the most. And uh, Mossy Into Me Decadence, the women's, which Mossy's been down for a while. But when that comes around, that's phenomenal. Almond, patchouli, coffee. It's ooh, too gross. All kinds of good stuff. Just tuned in. Didn't get to see the review. How do you feel about them? I gave them both an 8 out of 10. This starts off like 80% Viking, 20% Beach Hut Man. Dries nicely in a straight-up Viking. I'm very, very aromatic. The mint hasn't calmed down completely, but aromatic and spiced, a little woodsy. And then this is much more watery and melon heavy than Milestone. We actually did a live comparison to Milestone. Milestone's much more woody and smells a little bit cheaper. I'm sorry, the scent's a little bit better on Imperial versus Milestone. Up close. Whoa, up close. Cap came off. That's why you're not supposed to pick them up from the cap, right? So... It's a little bit more woodsy, but they dry down very similar. They're really starting to settle. So if you have one, you don't need the other. But this is, it does smell like the quality is a little bit better here than this, but it's not a drastic difference. But this is the jam. This is the one. If you like Creed Viking, yeah, this, this is the jam. Creed Viking is my favorite Creed. I'm um, kind of like a 50% right now. I talked to Max the other day. And uh, I'm not sure. I told him I'd be open to doing something virtual if I can't make it publicly. Um, so in person may not be an option for me again this year. Maybe. Like I said, I'm like 50%. But I told him if not, I'll do something. If he wants me to do anything virtually on a panel or anything, I'm, I'm down. So I'm, I'm open to being involved in some form or fashion for sure. <clears throat> we did that part already. Did that already. We'll stay away. I'm wearing gentlemen Boise. So last night, Randy was talking about how that's his favorite in the line, actually. Similar DNA to the one EDP, in my opinion. That's an interesting take. Have to get both those bottles. Dakota, maybe full spray under the shirt. Nice personal spray. Soap after shaving, I'm going to skip the fragrance. They do. After If you get it, yeah, it, it's strong, too. Especially the soap. The lather, when you lather it up, your whole bathroom is going to smell like it. So you had under 100 subs. I, I I remember. I haven't seen your name in a while, though, Kyle. Started with Jeremy and then came you across, and you definitely made me get into the fragrance game. You're my favorite YouTuber as well. Thank you, man. Thank you. So you've, you've come along for the ride and seen the evolution, the confidence on screen and everything grow over time. Because uh, obviously it was much more bland and vanilla in the past. Uh, you've always gotten to see this personality, maybe just not on full display. Whereas the live streams, obviously, it's definitely on full display because uh, it's just in the moment. But, yeah, it's, it's just one of those things that there's a constant evolution over time that's not like a drastic change in who and how, who I am and how I approach. Uh, it's just it's a comfort thing on camera because that's what took me so long to start the channel was I was nervous to get on camera because I wanted to start the channel two years. This channel should be six years old, not four years old. Because I really wanted to start it two years prior. And I was just too damn nervous to do that first video. And it's super cringe for me to go back and watch the first video, as everybody. It is for everybody. But feel free to go watch Top 10 Not-So-Citrusy Summer Fragrances from mid-July of 2019. Just click my channel and click Oldest. 
There you go. No, no mic, iPhone 7 Plus, bad angle, no equipment, no lighting, no nothing. That's why anytime somebody asks me about starting a channel, I say, just do it and adjust as you go because that's what that's what I've done. Nobody taught me anything. Nobody showed me how to do anything. Thumbnails, editing, titling. It's everything I've done is, is I just figured out along the way. And that's always the advice I give. Don't rely on others to help you. Figure out your own thing as you go. It's more rewarding that way. You know, sure. If somebody wants to give you some advice and help you out, yeah, by all means, take it into consideration. Uh, but I know that has nothing to do with what, what Kyle was saying, but it's just it gets me all nostalgic when somebody that's been here from the start pops in, you know. So I appreciate you, Kyle. So where was I? Where's Kyle? There's Kyle. Let me full spray. So here was Kyle. Okay, best man tall. It's kind of a tie between Honey Oud and Fougere's Marine for me. Because technically it's Honey Oud. It's a wow factor fragrance. It's a spicy, powdery, amber oud. But Fougere's Marine is Niche Tommy by Tommy Hilfiger. Nostalgia pick for me. The first fragrance I ever wanted was Tommy by Tommy Hilfiger. And that's the niche version, basically. So it's kind of a tie. Puffy Pig's in the house as a new member. I appreciate you, big dog. Welcome to the membership. Let me see uh, what level... Ended up all star. So you're in for the $10 drawing. Make sure to go vote. Click the member section on the channel page and go vote for which fragrance uh, you want to be the first prize. Second prize, I'm not sure what I'm going to buy yet. And third prize is going to be a mystery box. Different samples and decants. And then uh, the $25 and above tier, they're still voting on that too. And I'm not sure if or what the second spin will be. But you'll be eligible for three spins. Make sure to go vote for the main prize. But welcome. Welcome aboard, my man. Top three. Well, I just gave you two of them. And then I would say mm, it's tough to not take Oud Tobacco. I'm going to say Oud Tobacco to go with Fougere's Marine and Honey Oud. I hate the old woman rose dominant scents. Yeah, for sure. Is there a beautiful soft rose that we should try? Yes. Roses musk, like I was saying. It's a very clean, musky, fresh rose. Doesn't have that old lady smell. Montal. Speaking of Montal. Yeah. Try that one. It's really good. Arabian Tonka gets a ton of hype. I haven't tried it yet, but Honey Oud, yes. Absolutely, Joel. It's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Hit them with it, Spencer. Thanks, bud. By the way, love some old school bushwhackers. There we go. Some didn't notice the name till I got older. <laughs> some Car Noir. So we're about to shut it down. Let me get caught up all the way. Makes sense. Okay. My fiance loves Mark Jacobs decadence, but unfortunately it discontinued. I'm not familiar enough with the scent profile to recommend anything, unfortunately. Slight uh Chrome Extreme's closer to Aqua de Joe Profondo. Then it is like blue intense, in my opinion. I wish you'd stop being the first video. YouTube decides to pull it up every day, so I'd stop buying fragrances. The only thing I've seen change is your health and bottles glow up, my brother. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, I, I take I take my nutrition a bit more serious. I'm not. I'm. I decided to stop doing this week, this past week, to stop doing the caloric deficit. Speaking of, for those interested. And I'm eating a surplus now. I've been very strong the last several days. Uh, the muscle bellies are full of glycogen. I've been really been able to put some weight up the last couple of days. And obviously, I feel great because I'm in a surplus. I have more calories than my body needs. <clears throat> I'm up like seven pounds in a week. A lot of it's water, but I'm up seven pounds quick. It's mostly water. Hit the like button and F the haters. Go Astros. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, you know, I'm telling you, he has to watch you. You'll get him hooked like he did with me. P.S. I need to send you a Dallas Cowboys cap. No, sir, you do not. I will not wear it. Don't waste your money. <laughs> Hope you had a nice weekend. What TLTG state actually relates to fantasy, fantasy sports, like we were talking about earlier. The legendary Team Gates. There's a whole backstory to it. It would take me about 10 minutes or so to explain everything, maybe 15 minutes. The easiest thing would be search, review the reviewer. Ross Carlos, 
So it's an interview George did with me four years ago on the Zaharoff channel where I literally, where the nickname started, how it evolved and got to the acronym of TLTG. That'd be a lot easier because I, because we're about to shut this down. We're at the, I actually got to the bottom. Yay for me. Um, Sempa, I haven't tried it. I'm not familiar. Iconic blend. That's good stuff. Hadn't laid around forever and finally opened it from Montal Wooden Spices. That's, that's hard not to go with. I, that's definitely, it popped in my head when I was, said ooh tobacco and have a great night chat so yeah we'll go ahead and shut it down now those of you that haven't seen today's video make sure to check it out make sure to like the stream if you haven't yet we have one more stream tomorrow then no more for the rest of the week um we're just gonna do a live q a tomorrow no specific topic we're just gonna chat me and you guys we had topics the last two days that we centered the stream around because my parents are gonna be in town from thursday to sunday um they're leaving early Sunday. That's why we're going to do that stream when kickoff hits Sunday on the other channel. Those of you fantasy football guys and be sitting around wanting some company for football to talk football, subscribe to TLTG Vlogs because you have to be subscribed for at least three days to the channel just to be in the chat, not 14 days like on this channel. And uh, we're going to be doing live reactions to everything sports. And I appreciate you guys. Thank you to everybody that gave Super Chats. Welcome to all the new members. Thank you to those that renew, like Pound for Pound, renewing his membership for three more months. And, uh, yeah, the new members and renewals, make sure to go vote for what fragrances are going to be given away this month. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Y'all have a good one. It doesn't look like it wants to end here, huh? <laughs> I'm trying, guys. It just spinning. Had to refresh. Maybe it'll uh, let me end this time. Have a good one.